I want to give y'all a uh, movie idea that I came up with. I'm I'm never going to make the movie, so I might as well just tell you what it is because it's totally sick. But the movie idea is called, um, well, the movie, I would call it uh, Killer Cops. And basically the movie is about these cops that, uh, they're part of the police force and it basically, you know, has this preamble where it tells you that, um, you know, the, the United States has the world's largest prison population and, I don't know, it's just kind of, you know, veiled message about, you know, what all can go wrong when you have that many cops and all this kind of shit. And, you know, just, it's this storyline about these cops that, um, they basically get plugged into the system, but they, they do this exercise where they, they take their, um, their location that they're showing to the headquarters and they broadcast it off and then they they get this message from a helicopter that's showing this person who is pulled over on the side of the road or you know stranded somewhere or um <laughs> you know uh driving alone and you're going to pull him over and basically get him out of the car and tell him to get out of the car or the cop does and put your hands behind your back. Uh, I need to know what's going on. And just get out of the car right now. And if they don't, then he basically pulls the gun on them. And they have to. Or, you know, whatever. He just shoots them and leaves them there. And uh, and then nobody knows what even happened. <laughs> and so, you know, and so you, they take the guy. And they take him to some fucking place. And they basically just uh, torture him to death to be honest with you it's a it's a really sick movie and um <laughs> i just i don't know i mean it can really happen and uh you know there have been places that have sprung up around the united states i've heard in uh chicago they were actually torturing people at a at a certain place and uh you know i think it'd be interesting to you know go into the possibilities of it and kind of get people thinking, you know, about kind of the repercussions of having too many cops and, you know, the fact that people can uh, just magically disappear and uh, it's not that hard, you know, and it's kind of fucking fucked up. If you think about it, you know, I'll just tell you right now, I, 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 I'll I, know you're coming somehow and I'll just be off in the weeds somewhere just <laughs> waiting for your ass with a gun somehow. And, uh, but uh, I've seen him do shit like this to me, to be honest with you. I can't really go into all of it right now, it's too much, but, you know, planning me somewhere and, and and then having the whole thing set up where there was cops all around me and then they brought in the cops and basically the house was just, a, it was a fake, it was a false front, it had to be, and then one night uh, the cops showed up and they had some kind of device where they fucking popped the window open and... Um, I don't know how they did it. All I know is that it was the sound of a glass being broken. And uh, when it broke, it didn't even just sound like a normal break. It sounded like a, it sounded like somebody had taken a crowbar to it right in this dead center. And it just popped straight up and down. And so my assumption is it had to be some kind of articulating device that uh, thereby took the arms with suction cups and just folded inwards. It was the weirdest shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. I mean, to be honest with you, I've never heard anything like it. And to me, it just makes perfect sense. That's how they would have done it, you know? They just pop that window wide open. Just pop it wide open and just fold those things in there and just go right inside with the uh, bulletproof vests and all the uh, armor coating and all the armor, you know shielding and all that shit, face masks and all, and just blow my fucking brains out, make it look like a suicide or whatever they're going to do, there would be no getting away from it, unless I was down in, by the creek, it was just so fucked up, and, and how did I know to go to the creek, I don't know, but seriously, it, it's kind of like that, I mean, you know, the, the movies, the whole idea probably, that's what's gave it to me, you know, 
Because when you're under that much fucking shit, you know, you got these musicians making music, we are wolves in sheep's clothing, <laughs> calling out all the fucking facts of my life and shit, and it's just like, it's just like, I know that, um, uh, I don't know what it was, but when he made that song, they figured out something was going on with me, they hadn't been following it very closely, and it was just like a message went up, you know, and they just fucking came for me, like, Man, that was a fucked up ass story, bro. I'm serious. That let me see if I got beer left in there. Ooh, just gotta tell you right now. I don't know what the fuck it was, but that motherfucking thing. It was the sound of that window breaking. You know, and it just. It was just, it was like, it was like a breaking glass, but just broke so fast, and it was so loud, and just instantly just broke. It was just right in the center of it. I can already tell you what happened. It it was right in the center, and there was a little bit of reverberation in there from where the glasses kind of, you know, vibrating off of each other, And but it wasn't much. It was just quick, because they just canceled each other out, just womp. It was fucking weird, man. They came up there with some weird shit. Anyways. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I gotta say.